This is Chilling. And one plant of Guatama. Previously so on Chilling. Like human, first stop. As if this is a plant I saw when I was still young, yeah, in mm. my cousin's farm. So when I picked the three plants, four, we tried them here in my farm and it was Guatama. So I, it was an amazing thing. We had to leave it to grow for almost one and a half years so that we can get more seeds. And now, engineer, it is spread over how many, what? Like 51 50 acres now. Wow. With over 70 kilometers away from Kampala, you find yourself in a place that is very amazing called MK Mixed Farm. This farm is amazing, owned by an incredible gentleman that we have been having on the show since last week. These are some of his investments, cows that look very healthy and smart. They feed on that crop that he described in the first part that is called Guatemala. Now it's a very good feed for any cow and he said that it's available for sale for anybody that is looking out for any feed for their animals. Welcome to the best of the good life. This is the second part to what we call a very incredible story of a gentleman who is going to give you a template to a successful story when it comes to agribusiness. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about engineer Kaziwe Moses. He's in the building since last week and uh, we're at his farm here at Gomba. Don't move an inch, please learn a thing or two. And when I grow up, I swear, I wish I want to be like this incredible gentleman. All right, welcome back to the best of the good life. Oof, such a good spirited moment to be with this gentleman because he's actually a funny man behind the cameras. Because me and him have been joking about this whole thing of having muscle and having business. <laughs> he's really imitating me. He says, I wish he can have such big muscles, but I say that you don't really need that when you have such a big investment like this. I've been inspired and I've been really motivated by his hard work. Now today, since last, last week, we have been at Gomba as an amazing location, an amazing place. I feel so relieved. The breeze is amazing. The weather is giving. <laughs> Everything is just spot on. This gentleman goes by the names of Engineer Kazibwe Moses. Now, Engineer Kazibwe Moses, since he was a child, he had only one dream and one dream only, to become successful like his grandfather. Because Yakura Muraba, he says, man, how does my grandfather do it? This man was a very successful man and so he picked a leaf, Nagamba, you know what, when I also grew up, I'll somehow imitate him a bit. I don't know, I'm surpassing. This man is the CEO and owner of this investment you've seen since last week. And he's not only stopping at that, but he's also creating an eco platform. He's also a CEO of an incredible TV that is called Alkeblam. Now, it's an online TV that has created content in a certain direction that is amazing. Engineer, yes. why did you feel like you had to create a platform or to create, you know, an outlet where people get such information, you know, about the pride of Africa and Africa in general, but Uganda as well? Why did you feel like you had to create that TV, AKTV? Uh, thank you, Ibra, uh, and viewers of... Uh, our our TV yeah. UBC. Uh, in fact, thank you for a wonderful question. You know, uh, all this time around, I've been seeing uh, on CNN and BBC, Al Jazeera, and other televisions uh, about Africa. A very few good stories they publish about Africa. Hunger stricken. Ha no, a very, few, a very few good stories. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. A yeah. very few good stories. But the majority of sto stories. The majority are... of stories on those televisions is about hunger, sickness, Ebola, riot. <laughs> For those ones, you'll, they'll just, every day, they'll, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll drop it. But uh, then, uh, when I searched, uh, I found out that the word Alkeblan was the oldest name of Africa before they made it 
Africa. Are you aware about this? Yes, I'm, I'm aware about that. I did <laughs> so some many research. People, so yeah. many people uh, don't know where this man Alkiblan come from. So what do I mean in this? Alkiblan came to inform the people of Africa and the world. Our, 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 actually, our motto is uh, connecting Africa to the world. Mm. In, in a way, we don't do politics, you know. We do agriculture on my television. We do uh, trade, culture, and tourism. Tourism, yes. yes. Those well, four. Because you, it, politicking is something that you really discourage. Yeah, the you, youth, know, you, know, you know, you we know. We are so fascinated with politicking. You know. And they think everything, uh, politics, you can get everything. Yeah, from yeah, politics. yeah, yeah. But you see now, like, for example, mm. uh, who knew that the Guatemala plant we have here can feed, one plant can feed up to six animals, like this one you are seeing. Because now we have the animals, we have the Guatemala. We have the story to tell. So, uh, uh, for Alkiblan, actually, back to Alkiblan, we, we want to encourage our, our people in Africa that it doesn't end on us or them. Mm. Africa will stay and, uh, and stay and stay and stay forever and ever. In Africa, in Uganda, when you go with a brilliant idea to say, okay, I have started a factory that is producing, say, leave alone mineral water, who can't produce mineral water? A filter for cars, those cars. Brake for motorcycle. People are here. They are blocked. They can't reach anywhere because people are jealous. He, he wants to start it. He can't start it, but when he sees you, you started it, he puts the roadblock. Then where, where our country is going? I, I, I think you are leading what I'm saying. I, I Mastercard Foundation mm. put $300 million mm. to Africa to sensitize people to learn using who doesn't now have a visa card. Each of us here has a visa card, yeah. even when this is on zero balance. But the man has sold. What does that mean? Wake up, you leaders of Uganda, Africa. When there is any project, for example, Guatemala, what is Guatemala going to do for our people? It adds up on numbers of animals that we had before and then sell the meat to the world. Okay, can we put money there? Then, and see how it is going to change. Within two, three years, this thing would change the whole agriculture sector, animal farm. This is fascinating. That heart yeah. of gold of mm. wanting to share how you've made it because mm. you're quite a successful person. Mm. You have hundreds of millions seated in the bank or invested in this. I must assume, where did you get it from? That heart of gold of wanting. Amambaga Gawala and they don't want to share their knowledge. But you created a platform, Alkeblan TV, yes. that... I have boys working there. Yes, makes content. Not mm. only boys that work from there, but it makes content that can disseminate or teach people how to be a success person, you know, a successful person. Mm. Where did you get that heart from? I think it is nature. You mm. know, some people are like that. Like in the HE of this country, he keeps on telling people, grow something on one acre, what, what, the man struggles, but some load blocks cannot, you know, it's like a curse. You know, people, even when you put light, they can't see. A big light like this, they can't see. Sunshine like this, they can't see. So, uh, but we'll try, we'll try our level best. Because now, for example, if a young man here in, in Gomba has a... Uh, an acre of alvera is able of getting nine thousand dollars a month. I mean, yeah, a month. Mm. Nine thousand? Uh, no, a year. Nine thousand dollars a year. A young man. You see, here people sell their bibanja at at three million, two million to buy a motorcycle, and then they go to flood of the, the, the city. The whole city becomes border border, whatever, because they don't have this knowledge. And and you see, I I myself I am trying actually. I now drop things on TikTok, where, where, for people to get this information. Guess what? The people who calls me for this Guatemala seedlings are from Ghana, Zambia, Zimbabwe, uh, Somalia, as far as Nigeria. Mm. But uh, our people who are here, they see it. I keep telling them on my status that you people, in, by between now and December, I will sell a kilo at 50,000. I had given you a chance for, to buy at 30. But December, I, buy, I sell at 50. Last week, like, we got like, two serious uh, clients. They came and took uh, like uh, 100 kilos. So, lucky ones at 30,000. So, uh, people don't open up quickly in Uganda. They keep mm, like naive. Eh? Mm. Our calling as Africa with this beautiful weather, 
you cannot miss agriculture. Let those people in Russia and Ukraine be fighting as here we producing food and send it to them. But, you know, for them, they are, they are superpowers. Let them be fighting for us. We grow food and send to them. Is it still the backbone of this country, do you think? Definitely, definitely. Let me tell you. If, you know, we might, we might look at this as a, uh, something uh, simple, but let me tell you. If our, our people in Uganda never had the food compared to what Kenyans are going through, uh, Jaja wouldn't be the president. But now they look at something is coming as long as I pass today because they have food. Here we have food in plenty. Only we need, just need to add and sell to other countries. Like, for example, uh, in the other episode of you saw me with a certain gentleman. I was, I was telling people, the other day I was passing around Kakumiro. Many trailers are coming from another country, taking the city off from there. They go and make uh, flour and, yeah. and they export it to Kong Brazzaville and Kong, Kong DRC and other nearby countries. And it is labeled that country. What do I mean in this? You know, we, we, jealousy is, is bringing us back too much. If you see a Ugandan has 100 cows like this and is able to have a, a thousand liters of milk, I give an advice of drying up this milk for it to be, become powder and then we export it elsewhere. If there's no market in Kenya and blah, blah, blah. But you see, when you look at our people, when you talk about something, they start feeling bad about you because you've spoken the, what, the truth. Yeah. And um, uh, yeah, this is where Jaja has tried, but Jaja <laughs> sometimes it's also like, but my people are, uh, let me tell you, the solution for this country is not about politics. Mm. It is about what do you know? How do we move from here? And how can we help this person to move from where he is to another level? But minus putting in uh, tribalism, jealousy and all that, we can do a good country. Well, we're going to commercial. We shall be back shortly with engineer Kaziwe Moses. We are still here at Gomba, enjoying the moment and learning a thing or two. From such successful people, you get to pick a leaf or you get to really understand what life is all about. All right, don't move an inch. Come back and join us later. Good evening and welcome back to the best of the good life. My name is Dragon. Now we are here at Gomba trying to conclude our interview, which is very sad because I've been enjoying this man's conversation. He's infused with positivity and is a man that has this entrepreneurial mind that is very fascinating and interesting. He's actually very wise, wiser than what you guys think. He is the proprietor of this incredible farm that we have been on since last week and uh, yeah, He's teaching us a thing or two when it comes to agribusiness and he tells you that agriculture is really the future. Now, engineer, uh, as we're concluding, I have this very interesting question. Now, for the last, I think, couple of weeks or months, you have been making headlines, you know, and uh, the topic has been about land. And I want you in general, because this is not the type of show where we give a spotlight to such kind of uh, content, but I want you to just, in your own perspective, say something about the way how land works in Uganda and perhaps what needs to change. Because I know you've had your fair share of land struggles, land, you know, uh, land shebangs in general. So what have you got to say? Actually, when you go to Ankole, they used not to, they had customary land. Mm. When you go to uh, the eastern, same. When you go to Gulu, the same. The main land was only here in Buganda. And, and, and actually, uh, most of the titled lands were, were in Buganda, according to my little knowledge. Now, uh, for you to explain the owner of the land, the owner of the land is, is very clear in the laws of Uganda. Mm -hmm. And who owns Chivanja on someone's land, it is also very clear 
in the laws of Uganda. Now, where, where the British did a, a mistake is that when maybe the Kabaka, they were doing some exchange of, exchanges of something and the something, butter trade, yeah. the, the butter trade of something and something, then they were wiser and the Kabaka of Uganda were wiser than, than them that time. For him, he looked at having his people's land titled like the British did in their whatever. So what they did, they went ahead and, and gazetted land and said, okay, this one is titled land, this one is leased land, this one is, is, is a customary, you know, etc. Et so uh, of late, you see, this is what I was telling you earlier, that in po the politics that we have in Africa is what is killing Africa. Like, uh, I, I, allow me to cross to where Truahori is the president today. He's a new man, a young man, but for what he has done f within one year shows that he has a heart of the nation. But even when somebody is doing right, some, somebody is doing a, a, a good thing for the country, still there will be people fueling those to fight him, bring him down or chase him from power mm. because of that intrigue of greedy. People mm. want to, they don't get enough. <laughs> they want to, you know. Now, the land thing here is like, for example, here, they, 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 I've been having uh, actually I've learned. It, it was a university for me. Uh, a few days, a few days ago, uh, months ago, I was uh, in Kampala doing my business like as you see that road is built like two years ago you find a letter on your whatsapp status i mean st whatsapp that uh, sent by someone of the district you even don't know mm. that people are coming to your land that you are evicting people some of people of the people we have in offices are now using you know when they have fights against you on other things eh and they know you, you have no case, criminal case anywhere. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? They mingle it to, fa to, see that, to, to see that where do you have a weakness? Now he has land in Gomba. Now that land, he's chasing away people. That very moment, it happened here. Now, as if you are evicting people, dropping their house down, what, what. But when the meeting was called in a chairman's home, small home like this. Then the land we are talking about is where you seated. Are you seeing any squatter lottering around in, in, in this farm? Have you seen anybody who is not a worker? In, up to the other side, you see, the whole land is fenced 10 years ago. Fenced like this. This is a multi-billion dollar farm. You agree or disagree with me? 40 acres of Gonja, 50 acres of Guatemala, these animals, sheep, what? And then other so many things. And employment, alvera. And then somebody, a small minister, comes to say, Banange, we are helping. Hey, Aveo. Which Muse Aveo are you talking about? How about those ones who are working here? Are they not voters of that person you're talking about? Or do you even know how much I have contributed for this nation, even including by me opening an Arikablan TV to teach the, the youth that you people come down, your time is about to come. Do you know how much I've contributed here, which I cannot say in this camera? Too much, too much. He cannot even contribute, even if he becomes the president himself. He cannot. You see, we, we, we are not saying we have done so much so that we come to whatever, to step on people's toes and all that. No. Myself, I am a very humble person. You've seen my, my hands. I come here, I work. I'm a very humble person. But when it comes to uh, someone stepping on me, I, I become so wild, eh? Because Engineer, what, what does uh, mm. the president directive say about land? You see, land, land, land is, is something. Land, land, the president says, don't chase away the squatters. Mm. Here there are no squatters. Are there squatters? No. Now, if he says, don't chase away the squatters, and I wonder, if we had issues with the squatters on my land 10 years ago, do we have a law that going back, backward or the law goes uh, forward? Mm. Do we have a law that goes backward or...? No, no. So if I sorted the squatters that are, were legitimately on my land, then 
and then you start bringing people from the other side is Mitiana. That side is, is all Mitiana actually. We, they call people on Vizindalo. Sebo Muje Minister is coming to this LOC1 to resolve all land matters around this area and yet they are targeting you. So basically land things are hard mm. and um, uh, I have land from here up to Mbarara by the way. Yeah. If you are seeing that uh, holding on Bihari Road, a huge thing like five acres, that's my land. Yeah. Uh, I so have near, never, near I've, Hotel never Triangle. I've never, mm. I've never stolen any land. Mm. I buy land using my own savings. Yeah. Because, like I told you earlier, that from my childhood, somebody told me that it is land that keeps your money safe than you keeping it in the bank. So that has been my 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 habit since then. You see, what I speak now, people know. Very many people have touched in my life. They will tell you, yeah, this is the guy. But for you know. Intrigue should stop. Eh? Yes, we know there are those who are... Actually, let me tell you a story. People don't know that uh, we know a lot. Yeah. The people who grab land, genuinely they are there, grabbers. Like I have 400 acres in Chai there I bought from a family, mm, Mika Kajingo, late. Uh, later, they went and... On top of the title, they have somebody built another title yeah. and sold it to another family. You get what I'm saying? This is a land grabber. A man who duplicates another title and puts his title. This is the land grab. A person who goes to buy land from the owner, whoever is selling, is not a grabber. And these ones who put titles on top of others are dealing with those ministers amicably. For them, they, are, they have even peace. Mm. <laughs> but for you, with the one, the original title, ah, yeah, 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 it's a war. Well, uh, engineer, mm. let's wind up. So, what is any advice you have for any youth that is looking to take this sense of direction in, when it comes to investing? Uh, you see, uh, you see, uh, life is a choice. Yeah? We we will lament and tell people do this what what like how I chose you know my mother lives in Butambala there and as you're coming on the roadside this is where I'm born my brother was the first LC5 chairman of this district so I have stake in this district Gomba and mm. my my sister was the first woman MP and for them to go through it was because of my backing I know politics in this region I I play a lot in and. You know, people say a lot of, you know, Gundiabewo, what, what now? If I start tomorrow to say, okay, you are not becoming an MP of this place, you will not become. Including Butambala. You ask Honore Mwanga Chivumbi. He gets blessing from me. It, on television, let him say I, he did not come to my, <laughs> my home to ask for blessing. He came on my whatever party, my mother's Thanksgiving. He said, Kaziwe, thank you so much for bringing Honore Mwanga here for him to give me the, what, the vote of this. Yes, this, this current whatever. He knows. It is on record. Yeah. It is recorded. If it suits me, I will bring it. Me, I don't speak things that I don't have on record. So what I'm saying here is in this politics, we have stake. You yeah. know, we all have stake, but yeah. we shouldn't treat, treat politics as everything for this country. Mm. You, you know, you, <laughs> like the other day... Your person who doesn't like politics. No, president, like president, president is hey. dropping money for, for, for PDM, hey, PDM to yeah. help the poor in the village. Yeah. But the more how they are spending this money, you yeah. just laugh. Oh, yeah. Because now, if you give a young man here one million shilling, what do you expect? I'm not insulting, but you see, one million shilling. This man has a border, border man, a used border border at 800,000. And you expect him to do what? You know, I don't know who draws up these things for the president. You know, <laughs> Nadis was there. It fed up. Yeah. We're spending billions, 550 billions every year, but it came out with nothing. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Now, it is a matter of something small that we, we need to trigger uh, you know, this... <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? What no, is that? Now, it, like what President is doing in, uh, in Ntungam, I support him 200%, not even 100%. What is that? You know, by giving this young man money to Gume to refine our coffee and take it when it is refined. Do you know, uh, coffee, Uganda's coffee, Uganda's coffee, 46% goes to Italy, and then it is purified there and then back to Uganda uh, with a high cost. <laughs> You get Nescafe, 
you go in the supermarkets, you find Nescafe at 28,000, 30,000. Yeah. For example, I give you an example of aloe vera. Yeah. Aloe vera grows very well in Uganda. And uh, when you go to Hoima, Masindi, there is a place called Chigungu. Everyone knows about this, those who have been there. You find the other phalox aloe vera, the, our ordinary aloe vera called the phalox. Mm. Too much of it. I even used, you know, I used to go, you know, after doing research about aloe vera, I went to Kigungu there and, and, and put guys to give me the, that water coming from the aloe vera called sap, eh? that drop. The bitter thing is yeah, called yeah. sap. So I made, I, made, I made sap out of it. You see, in Arabic, Arabic world, they used to treat people on so many diseases using that black thing. It is like this. Like this drop. Eh? They used to treat people. So it sold so much. You know, uh, we have aloe vera here. But you see, uh, when you say, okay, let's go aloe vera and add up on coffee. You know, aloe vera last year, you go on Google, put in Forever Living Turnover 2023. You yeah, will be you shocked about that. $445 billion last year's sales yeah. in the whole world. Well, in what, Judea, no, what does this mean? Yeah, in Judea, Do you, yeah. They have only 7,000 hectares yeah. of aloe vera in Texas, where I got my plant. So what does this mean? Okay, you, 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 can, you, can, you can use your head. Yeah. Uh, use Do your head. Math, yeah. Yeah. Ingenia, thank you very much. Mm. It has been a pleasure and thank you for hosting me for two weeks straight. Mm. It is um, inspired and I hope all my viewers are also inspired. Mm. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Well, until next time we meet. This has been chilling. Thank yeah. you. You've been a fantastic audience. Please pick a leaf. You never know. They say iron sharpens iron and he is sharpening us. Bye and have a good evening. Yeah.